My name is Joseph. I come from the Judean town of Arimathea. I was there on the night that the rabbi, the one named Jesus, was arrested and brought to trial. I'm a member of the Sanhedrin Council and I heard the full account. He arrived in our world with an uncommon entrance. Born of a virgin, born in a manger, he was mostly a stranger to us until he was announced by John the Baptist, welcomed as the long-awaited Messiah now here, the one whom Moses and the prophets had been writing about for the last 4,000 years. He's not like other rabbis. He's made crippled men walk. He's made blind women see. He's made deaf children hear. He's made lepers clean. He has fed thousands of people on a hillside with only five loaves of bread and two fish. I don't understand this. But now I've heard the full account of this man named Jesus. He's been teaching in our temples. He's dined with vagabonds and sinners. A woman washed his feet with her tears and he had the audacity to forgive her. His deeds are as exceptional as his words. When our friend Lazarus had died, Jesus went to his grave, told him to come out and out. I've seen Lazarus myself. I've seen him alive. What, what is the charge against this man? Healing on the Sabbath? What sacred scripture? What law has he broken? Where is the evidence, the offense? Shall we crucify a man with no sin? So I dissented from the decision, as did my friend Nicodemus. But the Sanhedrin took him to Pilate anyway. They tortured him, and then they murdered him on a cross. My name is Joseph of Arimathea, and none of it seems right to me. So after he was dead, we took down the body and wrapped it in linens, myself and Nicodemus and some of the rabbi's disciples who were women. I refused to bury him like a criminal. He had no tomb, so I offered up my own. We took him to the garden, we put him in the cave, and we sealed it with a stone, and the entire time I wondered and I feared the truth of everything this Jesus had claimed, that, that this was not just a man in a tomb, it was God in my grave. That was on a Friday. But then, Sunday, the word traveled to me quickly. Some of the women had gone to the garden and the Roman soldiers who had been sent to guard the grave were struck down. The stone was rolled away, the body was gone, and there was only one set of footprints on the ground. Then came the reports. Jesus meeting with Simon Peter. Jesus meeting with Mary Magdalene. Jesus meeting with the disciples and eating breakfast on the shore. Jesus meeting with two men on the road to Emmaus and then to his brother James and then to hundreds and hundreds more. Jesus was dead. I saw this fear, the water, the blood, but now he's living, breathing, speaking, eating, proving that he is who he said he was. I buried him myself, but now I've seen where he lay. There's nothing left. Jesus scorned the shame of the cross, and he has trampled over death. My name is Joseph of Arimathea, and this is the full account of what I've seen. Jesus died, was buried, and then he rose again. And now my grave is empty.